What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more recent games that I have played and finished. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, the reason why I make this mini-series here on my channel is to help me mentally prepare to clear out a lot of my backlog of games that I have on my PS4. I have a ton of games that I just downloaded that were either free from PS Plus, I purchased them and I just never got around to playing them, or they were on a really great sale and I just added them to my backlog. So I've been trying to clear a lot of this out in prep for me getting a PlayStation Now, which is something I really want to get, but I thought there's no point in me getting it now until I clear out a lot of my backlog of games. So that's what I've been doing. I've been doing really well on it starting to slow down a little bit but i have four more games that i recently finished that i'm going to be talking about today so up first is uncharted 4 a thief's end i actually got this game around christmas and i know i did make a video ranking every uncharted game and i probably have that video uploaded before this one but i did make this video and that video after completing both games so uncharted 4 was amazing. I absolutely loved it. I loved that it goes back to the previous ones. It talks about them and honestly I feel like if you have not played the first three Uncharted games, the Uncharted 4, some of the hidden facts and details and the things that they talk about you might not understand. I feel if you're going to play the Uncharted series, go and play the first three games that came out first in order, then go and tackle Uncharted 4. But Uncharted 4 is amazing. I love the back and forth, the fact that you know a lot about the past, the fact that Nathan's brother does return, and it's something that he was not mentioned before in the series, but it is incredible. His backstory of why he has returned, what happened, how we got to here, and they're also going for a pirate's treasure, which it has a whole, throughout the game, a kind of a pirate's theme to it. So the game, in my opinion, is a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. And in my opinion, it is the best Uncharted game in the series. Normally, one of the first games are, and then everything else is still okay, but not as good as the first one. In this case, for me, for Uncharted, Uncharted 4 is my favorite Uncharted game that ever came out. I also managed to finish Uncharted Lost Legacy, which was originally supposed to be DLC for Uncharted 4, but the same thing like it happened with the Far Cry 5 and Far Cry New Dawn. Uncharted Lost Legacy was supposed to be DLC, but it was just too large of game that they just couldn't do it. So they decided to wait a year and release it as its own solo game. In Uncharted Lost Legacy, we do not have Nathan Drake at all. You do play as Chloe, and there is Nadine who was a villain for Uncharted 4, but you team up with her and also Nathan Drake's brother. It basically takes place after the events of Uncharted 4. It's very short, it's only 9 levels, whereas the regular Uncharted games are usually anywhere from 20 to about 25 levels, so about half of that, but that's what to expect whenever it was supposed to be DLC. It was just too large to become DLC for the actual game. So Lost Legacy, in my opinion, it had a great story to it, a lot of great character chemistry and character development, but it wasn't as great as Uncharted 4, and maybe that's for me because there was no Nathan Drake, but it was still a great game and I would recommend it. I honestly would recommend playing all the Uncharted games in order, Uncharted 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Lost Legacy. That's the way to do it and it's a lot of fun. I also managed to go and tackle the Spider-Man DLC. I managed to play Beat and Platinum Spider-Man about two weeks after I purchased it back whenever it was shortly after it was released. I just never got around to DLC because usually I'm not the type of gamer that goes and purchases DLC for games, but for Spider-Man, it did look like it would be a lot of fun. It was a new story and you got to go and see a whole bunch of different things that you didn't see throughout playing the normal game. So during last summer, almost a year ago, it was on sale, the Seasons Pass, which was just all of the DLC games. It was on sale for, I think, less than $20. In total, if you went to go and purchase each one, it was about $13 each. So there's three parts. So I thought for about $20 to get all of them, 
reduced price. I purchased them and I just added it to my list for my backlog because I knew I was eventually going to tackle it, which I recently did. The story is amazing. The first one is all about Black Hat and you're trying to help her take down Hammerhead because Hammerhead, it's kind of like a plot twist and things change. So I'm not going to try to spoil it too much because it's kind of hard and crazy to explain, but it focuses mainly on Black Hat and her um, whole character development with Spider-Man. The second one mainly tackles Hammerhead and you're trying to take him down. And the third one, you're trying to gain the trust of Sable to be able to help take down the remaining Hammerhead villains. So three parts to it. It was very interesting, a lot of fun. I absolutely love the Spider-Man game. So if you're going to go and play the Spider-Man game, make sure you do check out the DLC for the game as well because it, they go hand to hand and it continues the story and you get a little bit more out of it. So if it's on sale the Seasons Pass, I definitely recommend picking it up. And the last game that I recently played and finished is Sonic Forces. Now, I'm not usually a fan of Sonic. I don't really care about the franchise. I was never into Sonic as a kid. However, I do like to pick up the free PS Plus games whenever they come out monthly. With that being said, for March, Sonic Forces was one of the free PS Plus games. So I ended up picking it up, downloading it, and started to play it. And it turned out to be a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. It had a great story. It was basically Sonic in 3D, which is something I personally have never played. And there is, what I can tell at least, a new villain who is faster than Sonic, which you have to try to take down, which was fun and a great story with that. But you also got to create your own character, your own avatar, to team up with Sonic to help take them down. So the gameplay was amazing. The levels weren't too difficult. Uh, they're really cool. The boss fights, usually I don't like games that have boss battles in them, but this case, it was a lot of fun, very unique. But since I was not used to Sonic being 3D, the boss battles, the only thing that I had trouble with is staying on the little platforms because it's 3D. I would jump, try to hit the boss, and I'd fall off the map and then have to restart. That was my only struggle with it. It was a lot of fun. I do recommend it. And it didn't take too long, just a couple days playing here or there, and I finished it. I think there's a total of 30 levels, if I'm not mistaken. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's a lot of fun. So these are the four games that I recently played and finished. I Like I said, I'm trying to clear up a lot of my backlogs, so that's my main part and focus for doing these videos and this mini-series on my channel, because it's keeping me motivated to clear out games on my backlog. If you're a gamer like I am, you probably have a backlog. One of my friends recently said he has probably over 500 games that he purchased on Steam that he just never got around to beating. So he's trying to tackle a lot of his backlog. I think this year he's completed about five so far. I've completed way more, but a lot of my games are shorter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy this mini series. Comment down below if you guys have a backlog and how many games are in your backlog that you're trying to tackle. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.